Ah, welcome to another edition of uh, What the Fuck Happenings in the YouTube Atheist Community and Stick Ham Fun Outside in the Garden Edition. Uh, <laughs> you know, the deers just decimated my tomatoes. Bastards. <laughs> Went on the ground there. Fucking shit. I don't know, you know, you just can't, uh, you know, this looks pretty secure. I guess they must have pushed their way in through there. I don't know. I haven't found how they got in yet. Looks all pretty solid. <laughs> yeah, so, I don't know. Yeah, they really made a mess. I don't think they could get in through there. But they broke all these poor marigolds and whatnot. This horrible mess. Anyway, it's discouraging. You got all the flowers here, of course. But uh, they got my tomatoes. Yes. Damn it. Anyway. Just, you know, it's really, really sucks. <laughs> it just sucks. That's all I'll say. So anyway, news. Um, really isn't much of that. Uh, last night, oh, I guess I didn't say something like Tiny Chat Fun or something. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was uh, kind of a you know, nothing evening, I suppose. Uh, actually did talk to Piero, which was weird. But, you know, it's it just this, this idiotic argument where, you know, he's, he's apparently not going to concede that uh, neurology is the source of the function of consciousness. And he's going to pretend that uh, microorganisms, uh, you know, have an active psychology, have psychological life and maybe they even get depressed. <laughs> it's just a little tiny bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, just, you know, just hopeless. Hopeless, hopeless, hopeless. So, Paul's ego came into the room, so that was nice to hear, hear from Paul anyway. Um, didn't really talk about much, just kind of a little bit of social commentary. Got a little depressed and said, oh, well, it's enough of that. Uh, so, not much there. I um, had some conversation with Das Pook during the week in different moments and different times and it's been tolerable. We seem to be able to communicate without getting too hostile, which is good. Um, but again, it's, uh, you know, I don't, I don't find the conversation <laughs> yet at all. Um, you know, it just seems idiotic to have to go through all this crap of explaining the context of our existence with people who seem bent on rewriting a narrative, you know, coming up with a fairy tale, some kind of story that makes it much more glamorous and, uh, yeah, it's just all circular, it's just to justify it, just to come up with some rationalization that seems to say it, it's inevitable and it has to happen and it's, uh, you know, and, and so the only thing to talk about is... Uh, you know, um, you know, some sort of, you know, band-aid solutions to the fundamental problem, uh, which is the nature of the game itself. So, it just all seems like a bunch of nonsense. This came out quite lovely. <laughs> yeah, really. Very nice. Got some dead ones over. These are nice, too. I'll clean up the dead ones first. And uh, yeah, it's fairly nice looking. Uh, so, um, yeah, it's just very disheartening to have to waste time with intelligent people on nonsense. So the good news is um, working on the Vlogger Dome show. It's going to air a couple times in Chicago. I'm going to submit it as a public access show here eventually when I get a couple of episodes done. And uh, we'll see what happens, see if it uh, gains any traction. Um, I think it's a good idea. It's a format for um, presenting philosophical issues and stimulating debate and whatnot. Uh, but again, if the debate is always going to get driven down, bogged down in what are essentially religious theories of, you know, magical paramecium's and um, you know, the, um,
spirituality and love and you know, glorification of um, you know the aesthetic pleasures that humans enjoy instead of just recognizing them for what they are uh, you know which is the comforting of uh, a hunger uh, a state of deprivation and need that must come first you know just no recognition of the basic function of the mechanism um, yeah so that just the conversation just gets very uh, you know been there done that been there done that so hopefully that's part of the thing the show will eliminate is there'll be some sort of premise for which people can't just play this game of you know make it up and uh, pretend it's all okay all that kind of mush. So what else? Um, yeah, I sort of had that in the room last night. Some guy came in who I've talked to before, and you know he's sympathetic with you know much of the prevent harm philosophy, but he just can't deal with the oh give up. We can't give up. You know we we must somehow remanufacture this thing into something, or you know somehow we can make uh, life a profitable business <laughs> you know we we shouldn't just concede that um, you don't need blacksmiths if you don't enslave horses or something like that you know that the, we're only serving a, a need that is merely a perception in people's head there's no real need that you can identify in the universe or in the circumstances of the universe we're not the cure for any disease that the universe has um, and we're you know more likely to be fairly described as a uh, you know a causer of harm rather than a solver of harm uh, so but yeah it's just that same you know, don't give up kind of argument um, where you know just to just deny the truth because it's unpleasant to accept that it's a game you can't win um, and this you know just some sort of trivial um, ego problem where they just can't admit you know it's time to say you know it's time to end the game it's you lost I mean you know many games have time limits to them you know it's you play nine innings and then the game's over. Um, you know, this game doesn't end until we say it's over. And uh, the problem is, is that we could just keep running up the, the, running down the score. Just add more pain and suffering. Just keep increasing the price paid for a, <clears throat> um, you know, a silly adventure that's been lived over and over and over again. Just redundantly doing the same thing over and over you know live struggle have maybe some moments of glory and then uh, usually die fairly miserably in some less than charming way uh, you know why keep doing that over and over again why keep imposing you know the a ritual is stupid as that. So anyway, that's yeah, that's just been the nature of the conversation. Just keeps going to the same place of finding rationalizations and justifications, you know, to keep piling on the the expense. You know, it's like gamblers, and they just can't leave the table. They keep saying, uh, I'm, I, "Yeah, I, I'm going to win any minute, any minute." Yeah, the, 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 this, you know, they're, they're the one-armed bandit, and they figure they put so much money in that there's no way they can't win. Any minute now, it's going to pay off. Any minute now. And it's this false promise, uh, you know, and by the time it does hit, they'll have paid so much that it won't matter. <laughs> you know, the, the, the price paid is so much higher than the... The reward won. 
Um, yeah, it's just a tragic, sad, pitiful circumstance. And such. Um, so what else? Uh, yeah, I don't know, Skeptical Heretic and uh, Edible Napalm have been doing movie critiques. And, uh, yeah, they just seem kind of long and, you know, I guess you have to care for some reason. And I don't do that. <laughs> I don't care for any reason. So, it's not too fascinating. Um, and, uh, yeah, Snake Pluskinus is just doing his... Um, contextualizing racism and feminism and all the rest of this stuff in in some every man kind of uh, redneck philosophical glibist perspective. <laughs> you know, it's just so disconnected from um, reality. You know, stated as if it's some profound observation that the you know there is no spoon. You know, like, like he's, you know, like he's letting us in on the big secret. No, there's no such thing as racism. Yeah, that's just so easy to say. And it's, you know, completely idiotic as a premise. <laughs> you know, but he says shit like that. And, you know, I guess people will go buy that crap. Oh, yeah, it's not racism. It's really, uh, you know, people don't like nappy hair. That's it. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, it's just stupid. Um... Yeah, and, you know, just a, a recontextualization of all the the subjects is that they're about black and white. Uh, you know, ir ironic black and white. Um, when, yeah, it's always more complicated than that. Um, and he says it's more complicated than that, and yet he describes the simple parts of it. So anyway, but that brings up to describing the simple parts, breaking things down too simple. Reminds me of the Stefan Malihu character. Might do another response video. They did a couple of rag videos on Robin Williams' death, you know, and just used them to, um, you know, basically blame women. <laughs> you know, say it's 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 women's fault for marrying him three times and uh, causing him financial stress, and uh, y you know, it's just this the same old bullshit. These guys. Uh, make the contract, they get married, they cheat on the wife, <clears throat> which means they get a lousy divorce settlement, and uh, then they complain. And, you know, that just doesn't make any sense. If you're going to get into the contract, well, figure on meeting, you know, satisfying the contract, or don't sign the contract. Uh, you got to understand the terms of it. Yeah, you're not really allowed to make kids if you're not going to take responsibility for them. I don't know why that cat has to chase that other cat. Seems like a complete waste of time and energy. A little causing stress and harm. I mean, you didn't see that, but the cat was over here and he ran over there just to harass the other cat. And uh, this really is stupid. But that's the animal organism. Just does a bunch of stupid shit. Yeah, that's what animals do. Stupid shit. <laughs> Unlike me, who's like watering superfluous plants that serve no real function beyond, uh, I don't know, I suppose they soothe my my brain in some way, so I guess there's some, some way of therapy. Yeah, I suppose. Perhaps. Must be. I guess that's why I do it. Yeah. Certain satisfaction in it, I suppose. Until the deers eat it. So anyway, I can't some really some of these flowers are these big pink ones are really quite nice. They really are quite large as you can see. But there's, uh, you know, this one over here, I'm, you know, I'm surprised that it's, uh, it's quite a large flower. It's kind of a nice color, too. You know, just a little pale pink. 
Now there's three different varieties right in there. Red one, darker pink, and then this light pink. So, it's kind of weird to have three different seeds have grown in that one place. So, anyway, let me see anything else. Let's get the water off. Um, ooh, look at the size of There's a cucumber. <laughs> I've been waiting for a good cucumber. That's a pretty fat cucumber. Color's fucked up. But good thing the deer didn't get that. He tried to. But he just missed. Yeah, cool. Yeah, the last good cucumber I had, you know, took a bite out of it. Bastards. Um, anyway. Yeah, yeah, this is fucked up. So he came through here, obviously. And trampled things down a bit. It's probably something else that's ruined, but I just haven't found it yet. Yeah, just, you know. Really, it's just suck not to be able to have a garden in the garden state. You know, I live in the garden state, and you can't grow a garden without all this netting everywhere and shit everywhere. I mean, I'm not, I'm not I mean, you know, this is really quite not bad, but it would be so much better. <laughs> you know, just imagine how nice this would. Imagine how nice this would be if I didn't have deers eating everything. You know. But yeah, those hibiscus really are. They're having a good year. That's a pretty impressive little pile of flowers. The whole yard is flowers. Anyway, not bad. So sorry, this was just a bit of a ramble and a waste. Things will get more concise once we get a few of these shows under the belt and get these arguments really focused and then force people to argue the arguments rather than argue the personalities. Yeah, this might get to be a little more fun. But we'll see. I mean, some people you just can't have an argument with because they just keep changing the meaning of words. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that's enough. More than enough. I'm tired now. Anyway, <laughs> until next time. And such, it's important one time.